Ever since Phil Green IV arrived on campus at St. John's, his work ethic and steady demeanor has made him one of the most consistent contributors for the Red Storm. Green is exactly the type of player any coach would love to have on his team, as the junior does whatever it takes to ensure a win for his squad. Green's influence has always stretched far beyond the court, as his leadership has led him to play the big brother role for freshman teammate Rishi Jordan. Phil Green, straight from the Windy City. Like he said, I'm his little brother. That's my big brother. So it's, it's great living with him because, like, Sometimes I'll be so tired, I don't even want to get up for practice. He'd be like, come on, man, you got to get up. It's time to go to practice. Or I'll be late, he'd be like, you, you, you're like, hey, come knock my room. Like, you got to go to class or go be late to class. So, also, him and Chris, so they be on, they be on top of me. Yeah, that, yeah. Me and him, we, we like this. You know, we live in the same place. Just be ready for anything, you know. Um, don't get too high, don't get too low on yourself. Um, always have your confidence. You have your confidence, you can do a lot. It's like, Having a dad, like an older, or older brother in your house that's living with you that's taking your dad's spot. Just keeping his head, you know, um, say we all go through it, you know, you, it's early. Eventually, you, you're going to eventually beat. He played point guard for us, but I feel like he's more a combo scoring type guard. Um, he improved his outside shot a lot this year. He's knocking down threes and stuff this year. He don't really have a lot of turnovers, but he has, you know, a lot of assists. So he's doing great for us this year. He's kind of like me. He can shoot it, he can dribble it. You know, he's athletic. He had a couple dunks this year, so, you know. He kind of plays like Jamal Crawford in my eyes, I think, so, you know, he's, he's good, too. <laughs> Playmaker, you know, um, very solid. Combo guard, plays one and two. Good at creating the score, good in defense. Do it all. PG. PG plays with emotion. People might not see it. But you don't, if you don't know PG, you don't see the way how emotional he is and the way he plays the game. The kid can score uh, in, any way you want it. Any way, any way you want it, he can score the ball. When Phil gets hot, there's really not much you can do to stop him. His When he gets his mid-range going he, and he has a lot of moves, crafty moves off the dribble, Phil has had big time performances. He's capable of scoring over 20 points on any given night, but also capable of getting five to six assists on a night. I think Phil is is our best teammate. I mean, everyone loves him. There's not one person on the team that wouldn't agree with him if he has a point to make as far as what we're doing on the floor. He really doesn't turn the ball over, and he has it in his hands a lot. And, um, you know, when things get a little crazy for us, you notice we'll have him out there to stabilize us at the point. He's played in a lot of big games for us, especially with having Rashid Jordan, who's a freshman. For Rashid to look on his right and look on his left and have guys like D'Angelo Harrison and Phil Green, guys that's been playing in big games before, it can help him settle down a bit. I had seen Phil play in high school in Chicago, so I knew he was a very good player. I think the thing Phil is is kind of a glue guy here. He shoots the ball very well, but he really understands what Coach Lavin wants on the floor. Coming off the hip surgery and, and coming back in the fold, you can certainly see it for us early in the season when he was on the floor. Offensively, we were able to move the ball better. Things gel uh, better with Phil out there. He had some hardships this summer with his hip injury. He fought like crazy to get back to play this season. Uh, it was some thought that we may reassure him this season. He was like, no coach, I'm gonna get back. So far, I feel like he's having a better season than he did last year because you know he, last year he was struggling with the hip injury all through, throughout the season. Like right now, I feel like you're seeing him at his best. You know, he's scoring, he's doing stuff in transition. It was tough, you know, um, going through some adversity, getting over the hump, you know. But it's been fun and I, I like the experience. You know, it was humbling, you know, that people would speak highly of me. Um, just want to prove them right.